So you are under arrest for driving while intoxicated. A refusal to submit to a chemical test or any portion thereof will result in the immediate suspension and subsequent revocation of your license or operating privilege, whether or not you're found guilty of the charge for which you're arrested. Mm -hmm. Your refusal to submit to a chemical test or any portion thereof can be introduced into evidence against you at any trial, proceeding, or hearing resulting from this arrest. Will you submit to a chemical test to determine the alcohol or drug content of your blood? No. I'm sorry? No. Okay, and you understand that DMV will have a hearing and they may suspend or take away your license. Sure. Okay. Hi, Nanny. You live on female 15. All right. You have a right to remain silent, refuse to answer any questions. Anything you do say can will be used against you in a court of law. As we discuss this matter, you have a right to stop answering my questions at any time you desire. You have a right to a lawyer before speaking to me, to remain silent until you can talk to a lawyer and have that lawyer present with you when you're being questioned. If you do desire a lawyer but cannot afford one, one will be provided to you before questioning without cost to you. Do you understand each of the rights I've explained to you? Yes. Now I've advised you of your rights only when you answer my questions. Okay. Seriously, how much did you have to drink? Because you had way more than, you, you had something. So how much did you drink? I know. So, so what did you have? Beer, wine, liquor, liquor. What kind of liquor? Vodka. Vodka. Okay. 